Hi everybody and welcome back. So after a very long wait and many requests, we are going to go about doing another free divine quest series. This is going to be free divine quest 2.0, if you will. For the second edition, I decided to restart my account on the French server under the username Legacy Acres. So if you would like to look me up on that server, feel free to send me a friend request that will definitely give me some help during any of those events like the pinatas where you need friend help to get through the event. I went with this server for this particular for this series because it is a much larger server than any of the English language servers. And I already, I already have accounts on all four of those servers. I would have been okay with restarting my Australian server account because I don't really play on that one too much. So, you know, restarting it wouldn't have been a big deal for me, but it is quite a small server. And I really wanted to make sure that I could utilize and really show you my tips on making passes by selling different species of horses and making really good use of the exchanges. So that's why I went with this server. You will therefore notice sometimes that when I go to a new page, when I load a new screen, that that there might be a lag and then all of a sudden the words will kind of change and that's because I do have Google Translate turned on. If that gets annoying, I'm really sorry, but that's just the that's just the way it's going to be if we're going to understand some of this stuff. I think once we get through the apprentice breeder objectives, we can turn it off because I pretty much know most of the ins and outs of the game anyway, so I don't really need to read to understand what's going on. I did already go through the tutorial because that is a bit tedious to get through. I just wanted to zoom through that and we got through that. So we got the Apprentice Breeder objectives unlocked. I think this will probably be what we're going to do for the first couple of episodes because I do know there are at least three objectives where you have to reach certain days of seniority. So there are going to be points where I get stuck on the objectives anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got to use an aging point, board a horse in an equestrian center and play at least three hours do three hours of full games at once. So I have played through the objectives before on the test server, and I really advise that you start off with your Colt because there is one objective, like 16 or something, where you have to make a cover offer with a stallion and <laughs> you don't want to use up all of your aging points, aging up one of the mares and then up oh, you're all out of aging points. Now you have to make a cover offer, but your Colt is still a Colt and he's not old enough to make covers yet. So we're going to get him going. Hopefully we can actually do this. Uh, let's see, 20 E a day. That one has carrots. We're just going to do a couple of days. And we're going to feed. And I am going to actually switch to the old interface because I don't like the new interface, the little scaling toggle bar. We've had this for several years now and I, st I still haven't gotten used to it. So I still use the drop down. All right, I got my drop down back. Let's open up the objectives because I do want to make sure I'm checking these and validating them as I complete them. So we've used an aging point for number one. We boarded the horse number two. That gives me aging points. We still have to play for three hours. Objective number four is to feed my horse oats, which I can't do that just yet. He still only eats fodder. And we have to consult help, which this one actually means go to the help center. So I'm going to open up the help center. Boom, did the help center. Let's refresh and complete that for a hundred apples. I wish apples would go away because aside from objectives, they are, they just don't really serve any practical purpose whatsoever. So objective number six is to get a horse to 100% morale, which we can do with him. So we have to, he's been fed, we can age him up. We'll be able to do full games with him. Let's see if I can do proper full games. So two and a half hours. We're going to feed nine. We can't feed him oats just yet, unfortunately. And I was supposed to play for three hours and I didn't do that. I think I did two and a half. Oh my goodness. So we're already off to a rough start. So there we go. Three hours of full games at once. We did get 10 carrots for that. Objective number seven is to earn 200 E by doing missions. What I can do in the meantime also is to, this horse is already boarded, so there we go. I'm going to do a mission with her. That gets her started. I'm also going to, uh, yeah, let's do rides with her. So we're going to do this on the side because the benefit to working all, all of the horses that you start off with, which you get two horses from the tutorial that you breed yourself, and then you have to go into the auctions and then you're able to 
by your third horse and then you're given a golden apple to put on that horse. So Rare Pearl is one of the horses that I got through the tutorial. So it's highly beneficial to you to work all three of your horses. That way then once they're, they're all grown up, you can enter competitions with them, do lessons with them so that you can gain money. All right, where am I at with... Okay, so cool. We've got Feed a Horse oats feed a horse and we got feed a horse oats completed and boost 100 percent morale so that is also completed then we have to train a horse for at least three hours by five mashes at the shop let's do that one right now by going to the shop which is right here <laughs> okay so we have to buy five mashes which to me is a waste of 300 250 e but that's that's just me i would rather save that money but okay then we get Artemis's arrow as reward. And then right there, objective number 10, that one's going to be stuck because we have to reach three days of connection. And I only have that 33% completed. So let's keep going and see what else we can do. Train a horse for at least three hours. I think because he is still too young. He's only 10 months old. Let's go back and I'm actually going to age her up once and we'll train you in speed because your top three skills are what was it stamina speed and dressage this is an argentinian criollo and at least with this particular breed the top three skills are the same as they are on the international server because i do know that some breeds their skill sets will differ between servers i'm not sure what all of them are we'll come across that when we get to it so we should have gotten that one completed yes we did and then our new objective is to go to the presentation page of another player. Let's just go to the gameplay forum and we're going to go to one of the admin. That should have completed that objective. There we go. We got 10% morale for all of our horses. Objective number 12, take at least three hours of forest walk in one go. Translation, do three hours of forest rides. And to do that, we're going to use rare pearl again. But let me give you a carrot to boost your energy. What the heck? We still can't do three hours of rides. Do three hours of rides. Thank you. Okay. Three hours of rides. That completed that one. And then we have to stroke five horses. Yay! We haven't stroked her yet. Okay, but unfortunately for my other foal, I did. So I would highly, highly advise, if I didn't say this already, definitely have the objectives pulled up on the side because I do know that there are quite a few different players who have all of the apprentice breeder objectives listed in their forms. Have that pulled up on the side so you can kind of plan more strategically how you can get through this. Um, it just might make it a little bit easier. So there we go, stroked that one. We're going to age my foal up. Did I feed you yet? We did not yet feed you, so let me feed you. And then we can start playing. Stroke. And then we're going to age you up. I had to stroke five horses. And you can stroke the same horse multiple times. So you can just age up the same horse and stroke that one if you want to. Where are we at with that? 80%. Uh, yeah, let's age you up again. So three hours of play. All right. That is that it? Because I wasn't keeping track. <laughs> Stroke five horses. Here we go. Make a breeding proposal. I think we're just going to try and get this objective completed. And then we're going to call it a day. That way, then this, that way this video isn't going to be too long. Should be the last day, yep, that he can complete full rides. And we did get our full full games. See if we can have enough aging points that we can make a cover offer with you. This is a little bit tricky because I'm quite spoiled on auto feed. So I'm not really used to having to select each feed amount each time. It's definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. Okay, so eight fodder five oats have to groom you and then I can put you to bed that's something else I need to get used to because I think you have until your 30th day that you have to groom your horse first and then the bed button is unlocked so that's another thing I'm gonna have to get used to I'm pretty sure that shuts off when you reach your 30th day of seniority when can I cover you he is only two years old two years and six months uh how many more aging points do I have two left I think we have just enough time to do that so uh, 
let's do missions because I want to get some money. And I do think I still have that mission objective that I have to validate, don't I? Yes, I do. I still have to earn 200 equus by doing missions. I kind of forgot that. That's, <laughs> that's a big problem that I have when doing the objectives like this, that there's multiple that I have to do at a time. I really have to have it pull up on the side, otherwise I forget oh, which objectives I'm doing. Okay, we've got one aging point left. So I think after we get this one done, that'll be it for the... Oh, no, he's only two years and four months. Okay, well, I think we're stuck for today then. So we did get up to 62% of objective number seven completed. Objective number 10, I'm going to be stuck on that for about two days. And then tomorrow I'll actually be able to continue because my colt will age up and then I can make a cover offer with him. So that ends day one of our Free Divine Quest series 2.0. In the next video, we'll definitely be able to continue with the objectives because I'll for sure have objective number 14 done tomorrow. Once my Colt ages up tomorrow, he'll be able to make a cover offer and we should be able to get this objective number seven done as well. So stay tuned for the next episode as we continue through our Apprentice Breeder objectives. This will be a few episodes alone and then we'll finally get access to the Daily Pass objectives and reconnect really start on our journey. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye!